Hey to Say Destiny crew, Carl Spritis here. Thanks for joining me for another to Say Destiny daily dose. Decide to go into your heart and into your soul to avoid getting caught in your head. Now, to be honest, this might be one of those videos that I join you in thinking, wait, what is he saying? Where is he going with this? Where is this, uh, this long you know, story going? But um, we'll see how we go. I digress. So, going into your heart and your soul before you go into your head. Now, the theme behind this video is a lot of compliments I've been getting lately. Um, and this is not, you know, I'm not doing this to toot my own horn, but it's just interesting. Um, I won an award recently and from that, I kind of got the award and I just chuckled, you know, I didn't know how to really kind of, I don't know, I just kind of chuckled, I laughed and like, I was like, oh, yeah, I really appreciate it. And appreciate everyone who was involved in helping that award. And, I had a conversation with someone recently and we were talking about how, and I was talking about some of the South African um, you know, rugby players, uh, how they thank God or they thank their family or they thank the opposition for a, an incredible contest when the, when the interviewer kind of baits them into maybe talking about how great they are or you know, the interviewer asks them a few questions. They go straight to, they, they, they take the, the limelight and they put it on someone else and it just, that humility just, um, is so, so like refreshing to see, you know, because we're so used to seeing people who are clamoring for the camera. So, yeah, so that, that, that's, that, that was one of the conversations we're having. We're just talking about how you're supposed to, or, you know, like not supposed to, but like different ways you can actually take on, um, take on positive feedback and, you know, not have it feel like, no, I'm terrible, you know, and, and, and the person who gave it feel like, well, why the hell did I just go and give you a compliment now I feel dirty you know so I digress again so the, the, the compliment that I've been getting a lot lately um, has been and I just got off a phone with a client um, and the, the person they put me in touch with I did I did the wedding photos and the person who you know, you know who made the decision in the end of the day one of the um, sisters uh, said uh, you know he was great the photos were great really enjoyed and he's so handsome you know, but don't tell him. And obviously, she's, she's spilled the beans. So I'm getting, you know, I even had a security guard um, just the other night at a photo shoot. Um, like, you know, older, older security guard, um, and just chatting to me about where he thinks I'm th from. And then he says, you know, if you were if you were in India, you know, you'd be a Bollywood star because you're so handsome. And so all these different, it's kind of been, you know, like a run of the same compliments in a very compressed, short amount of time. And what I took from it, I didn't take, oh, I'm so handsome, I'm the, you know, the bee's knees, I'm the greatest of all time with good looks, you know. I, what I took from it, you know, and I, and I kind of, and this is how I, I guess I operate, I kind of philosophize and I don't make split decisions, I don't, you know, I don't make jumping decisions and, and, and then regret. I kind of, you know, try and divulge things into my mind and see what, what, what I think of it. And I feel like it's, what has happened more recently is I've had a stronger constitution. I've actually set up boundaries in my life, um, set up my own authorities and what I'm going to actually follow, what I'm going to stick to, where I draw the line in the sand, the hill I'm willing to die on. And I've put those in place. I know in my mind, in my heart, in my soul, in my constitution that this is what I'm standing for. This is what I believe. This is what, no matter what, nothing, no incentive, no um, defamation, uh, no trickery, uh, manipulation of any sorts or um, mob mentality is going to change my constitution with this and this and this and that. So really identifying who you are, knowing who you are, knowing what you believe, knowing why you believe that, knowing why it's important that you believe it and actually practicing your beliefs in your day to day and practicing and actually being that person, being that person forward, being that being forward who has strong constitution, I think actually oozes a like more kind of attractive frame. Or, you know, you're either your, your, your shoulders up a little bit more, or you just have that confidence in your kind of demeanor, how you walk, kind of creates this magnetic pull towards you. So you know, and you'll see, you'll see this with like, you know, there's lots of people online who um, coach men you know, how to be, um, you know, how to find the right partner and uh, all those sorts of things or 
I think yeah, there's charisma channels and things like that. And so, you know, this is not just airy fairy stuff. This is um, this is the way that we understand. We don't we don't just communicate through the words. We communicate through body language. Communicate through that energy space between us. You know, that commanding energy. If you're a powerful character, if you're posture, if everything, but you just kind of ooze this energy of a powerful being. And I think that's why I've been getting these compliments a lot lately. So I could have gone straight to the head and gone, I'm so handsome, I'm so handsome, oh my God. Or I could have, what I did was actually go and, okay, let me investigate this compliment. What does it mean? What's the, you know, what's the reality of it? Like, okay, yeah, all right, it could be that, that some people think I'm handsome and I'm very grateful for that observation. I appreciate that. But I actually think it's something deeper. I think it's got something to do with the constitution that I've fortified in the little while, in the last little while. I think it's got something to do with that I'm more grounded in who I am. That I'm not swayed. That I don't see the shiny toys and see the, the, um, you know, the, the manipulative tactics or the sways. Come here and the arm twists. I don't, I don't, I don't react to that. You know, I respond to what is happening in the world. I go inward. I align myself with my constitution. And I, and I, and I act with that in mind, in my heart and soul, I act with that forward. I act with that state of present being forward with a strong constitution. So that's what I believe it is. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I know it's a bit of a different one. Um, and yeah, I just think it's, it's, it's interesting how we can respond to life. There's, you know, what happens is there's an occurrence, there's something that happens and then we decide how we will respond. We decide how we're going to interpret. We decide how we're going to, you know, how we're going to engage with the moment, the compliment, the situation, the change, the challenge, whatever it is, we decide. Remember, you always decide. So make sure that you decide your destiny. Cheers, guys.